वेलकम बैक गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन आस्ट बाय सुभाष ही डिड नॉट मेंशन ऑन विच कंपनी ही गॉट दैट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो दैट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम साइप्रस एंड इट इज आल्सो वैलिड क्वेश्चन फॉर प्ले राइट एज वेल सो इट्स अ जावा रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन इट्स वेरी सिंपल uh coding question but it it's very powerful okay so question here is how to write a conditional logic using ternary operators in javascript so it could be either cypress or playwright okay so conditional logic means we, first thing what we get in our mind is if else statement so that means interviewer is asking i want conditional logic but don't use if else instead using ternary operator we need to find so ternary operator is an optimized way of writing if else or we would call it as a shorthand of if else statement so what is conditional logic here now let's say um, there is an environment variable where you give a url so basically your whole framework the 100 test present in your code takes the url from the environment variable so write a condition that if that environment variable url is declared use it if not use xyz okay somehow if somebody forget then if it is not present or if it's absent in that configuration file then use default something like xyz.com but if it is present use it use that particular one so that means you need to simply write one conditional logic here but don't use if else so for that this is how it comes in the javascript so here you write condition let's say 3 greater than 2 true if condition becomes true the next step what you see here will execute see expression if true the code get executed if this condition is true if the condition is false then this gets executed okay so all you write in one single statement nicely separating with question mark and colon so the last one get executes if your condition is false right so with this simple syntax i gave you the real time example right that take the url from the environment variable so what i am writing here i put this uh, example cypress dot env so this is how you access the environment variables in cypress so here we are asking get the base url environment variable value right so if that base url environment variable is declared in your framework i mean declared in the sense it should be declared and it should have some value whatever if it is declared then it will return true okay this base url is found then if it becomes true what will execute it will execute the first one so if it is declared then use it that's how we are telling because our statement tells if it is true use this right so if this statement become true then for my value use the environment variable of base url only if it is not declared then use this 1 2 3 store as a 123 simple so without using if else i am able to write this whole logic of checking the condition if condition is true this if condition is false this everything i am writing in one single line using the ternary operator in javascript okay there are multiple things you can take from this uh, short lecture number 1 uh, how to access the environment variables from cypress and this is a common thing you use in framework like if environment variable is not defined then what you will do how you will take the default values into your framework and this is how you take default values when those are not defined then you get a default value whatever on the last operator okay and you store it in the variable and finally once i get a url i am visiting it so default usually i give 1 2 3 but in your case it could be you know xyz.com some url so that will go here and we are able to the open the browser using the visit method all right so this kind of operator we call as a ternary operator so i would recommend you to do just google about ternary operator and do some basic you know examples because the way you explain these things uh, will help interviewers to understand you know how 
how smart you are in you know in writing the optimized statements all right so that's it guys uh, one technical question finally we got on how to use conditional logic and i hope this helps you all right thank you